Hello and welcome to this Veyon tutorial video hosted by Adam Pearce of Strawberry7. In this video I'll be showing you how to use a piece of software called Veyon which is for remote monitoring and viewing of a multitude of computers. So a good example of this is in a ICT suite where you have a lot of computers and you're sat at the front of the room and you want to be able to remote view and interact with all of the computers in the suite that the students might be using. So to start with launch uh, the program which is Veyon Master which you should find um, on desktop or in um, desktop icons and log in. Now you want to log in using the same credentials that you log into the computer with. So whatever you have just used to log into the computer, use the same credentials to log into Veyon. Okay, when you log in, you should be presented straight away with a screen that will show you all of the computers in the suite. If it doesn't, it's very easy to bring the screen up. You just click on Computer Rooms at the bottom here. You should already have your computer room um, configured. In this case the computer room is Junior ICT Suite so you would just tick that box and you may notice that when you first tick the box the um, screens are quite small but you can use this slider to adjust the screen size so that it's comfortable for you to view. If you want to get rid of this um, window on the side here you can just click down here to collapse a window down and then you can resize the windows as you see fit. There's also this button here which will auto fit them on the um, screen in the, most, uh, in the most convenient and efficient way. There are various things that you can do with these, um, with these computers. Obviously this screen is brilliant for just remote viewing all of the computers at once. You might want to interact with a particular computer. Let's say that this student is um, going off task. We can actually remote control. If this box appears, um, it's not a problem. You just need to type in the name of the computer, which you can actually see here, and it should allow you to remote connect and you can actually control the computer once you're on this screen so you could um, you could actually take control and close a window or something like that so you can see here that we can type in on this screen so we're just going to exit out of this at the moment there's also other things that you can do you can send a message okay to that computer um, you can just remote view that computer if you just want to view that individual computer um, on its own on a, on a larger screen and you can also lock um, that computer and quite good um, quite good tools are sort of opening websites which you can do on multiple computers by selecting multiple computers um, and typing in a URL uh, and various tasks like that. You can also reboot them, log them out um, and things like that. So if you had a class um, and they were packing up quickly, for example, and you didn't have time for them to all log out on their own or you wanted to be sure that they were going to log out, or maybe at the end of the day you wanted to be sure that the suite was actually going to be shut down, you could um, quite simply do that. You can select them all and um, initiate a um, power cycle on them or a, a power down. I hope you found this video useful. Um, as always, thank you for watching.